Hello and welcome to Sky Comedy Close-Up, the programme in which we take a look at some of the films coming your way this month. And today is a big day for us all as the programme takes on a new look. I'm Dominic Frisby and in case you haven't heard of me as well as being the presenter of this esteemed programme, I'm also a writer. If you've seen The Fast Show um, or the early Ali G when he was on the 11 o'clock show or the film Borat, so have I. Ha 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 ha. Now, with me on the show is Sky Comedy's answer to Stato, Brendan Connolly. Hello, sir. Now, Brendan knows more about films than anyone in the whole world, and his is the ideal number to have in your phone if you're in a pub quiz situation and you don't know the answer to a key film-related question. To demonstrate this knowledge, I will now ask him three questions, and Brendan, you've got no more than five seconds to answer them. Are you ready? OK. OK, question number one. Name me three films directed by the American Howard Hawks. Uh, Bringing Up Baby, Rio Bravo and the original Think From Another World. Though he's not credited, he did direct it. Right. <laughs> Who played the character of Baron Munchausen in the Terry Gilliam film of the same name? John Neville. Right. Eisenstein's Battleship Potemkin is regarded as one of the first great with a capital G, films. How do you spell it? P-O-T. No, I-T. Yes! Right, coming up on the show, we take a look at some of the most high-profile British funnies coming to Sky Comedy. Confetti. I am a bride's best friend. I'm OK. And Hot Fuzz. What else you got? Crockett and Tubby. Skid marks. We preview the new biblical comedy, Evan Almighty. Oh! And we talk about some of the many other highlights of the Sky Comedy schedule for the next four weeks, which includes The Wedding Singer, 40-Year-Old Virgin, Pleasantville, and so much more. <music> to start us off, confetti. Confetti. Who's in it? What's it about? What's it like? Well, confetti's like a British answer to all of those uh, fake documentaries, you know, the ones made by people like Christopher Guest and, and Marty de Bergi. Yeah. Um, and uh, this one's been directed by Debbie Is It. It's actually really jam packed full of British comedy stars. You've got Martin Freeman in there, Jessica Stevenson in there, or no, Jessica Hines if she is, um, Jimmy Carr's in there, Olivia Coleman's in there, Robert Webb from Mitchell and Webb's in there. In fact, David Mitchell's tucked away in there in a small role. If you think about all the shows these people actually are, are on, I mean, it's a massive list of popular shows Space, The Royal Family. Uh, 8 out of 10 cats. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. Vivian, am I going to be meeting more mental people today? If you, uh, you know, look at, at Confetti's performance at the, at the box office, it probably wasn't as popular as most British romantic comedies about weddings are expected to oh, be. Yeah. Um, but it, I think the argument at the time was, why go out to see this at the cinema when, when you get these people at home every night of the week? Well, no, you get Confetti at home, so you really haven't got any excuse. Well, that's confetti, and if one British comedy wasn't enough over on Sky Box Office this month, you can catch Shaun of the Dead creators Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg's eagerly anticipated follow-up, Hot Fuzz. Described as a cross between Lethal Weapon and Heartbeat, the sleepy streets of Sanford in Gloucestershire are turned into a war zone after the arrival of supercop Nicholas Angel. Bring the noise! Now, the problem with Hot Fuzz when it came out was that everyone compared it to Shaun of the Dead. So let's break the mould, let's not do that, and let's judge the film on its own merits. What did you think? Uh, Edgar Wright, who directed both this and Shaun of the Dead, he and Simon Pegg, the star, they grew up in the town of Wales in Somerset, and that's where the film is set. And it must have just been fantastic for them. It's every boy's dream, really, to go back to your hometown, a little hometown you struggled to get out of. You made it big, you go back, and you just shoot the place up. You've got cars crashing everywhere, bullets going off left, right and centre. It's like John Woo's come and, uh, you know, started shooting Emmerdale to, to ribbons, really. Now, the thing about Simon Pegg and his comedy is that nerds love him. There's all sorts of weird references what, and he's a real saying? nerd's <laughs> favourite. Do you think this crosses over into the mainstream? Everyone can laugh at hot fuzz. Anyone who's ever seen a police film will understand most of the references. But you still don't need to, to, to get all the reference points to enjoy it. It's a good story, well told, with a lot of gags. Funny? Hilarious. There you go, and you can see Confetti on Sky Comedy and Hot Fuzz on Sky Box Office all this month. It's off to the cinema now to look at this month's big comic release, Evan Almighty, where Steve Carell is instructed by God... 
So, Steve Carell, a man whose career is on the up. What else has he been up to? Well, he's the star of the American version of The Office. He plays Michael Scott, who's their David Brent character. And you're probably not going to agree with me, but, but you're wrong. He's much better <laughs> than Gervais. And what else has he done? Well, 40 Year Old Virgin was his uh, breakthrough cinema hit. In fact, it's a film that kind of really made a very big star out of him. Now, the 40 Year Old Virgin character was... It was his, one part of his stand-up act, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, he's got a bunch of good stand-up characters. He does the uh, very polite German, and he did a character called the 40-year-old virgin, and so far, you know, that's the only one who span off into a film. Well, what, what are the other highlights of that film? Because it, uh, it was your favourite film of 2005, I think. I, th I think it's probably my favourite. Um, Judd Apatow directed it. He's gone on, he's made another film called Knocked Up that's coming out this month, and that stars Seth Rogen. This is fun. We should do it in more, I think. I mean, like the most fun I've had in a really long time. Seth Rogen was also in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. He's great. He was virtually unknown beforehand. Paul Rudd's in there. He's great. In fact, er everyone's really funny. But basically, you think it's just going to be an ooh uh, missus saucy postcard sort of like dumb humour, but it's not. It's got heart. It's got a good story. And uh, it split my sides. Well, there we go. In case you hadn't already guessed, we like The 40-Year-Old Virgin. <laughs> OK, now let's have a quick shifty at some of the other highlights. The Wedding Singer with uh, Adam Sandler, lots of mullets, 80s clothes, rapping grannies, your thoughts? Also, don't forget the Rubik's Cubes oh, yeah. and uh, Drew Barrymore, America's real princess. Um, she's great in this film, actually, and um, she's the sort of heart that holds it all together. Um, if you think that 70s show, but on a bigger screen, and ten years later, you kind of got the idea. I have to say, I love The Wedding Singer when I saw it. I just, I just got off on the costumes. What do you think of the jacket? Oh, man, I would lose that glove. You look nuts. What else have we got? Noises off. Based on the Michael Frame fast, directed by Peter Bogdanovich. It's great, and it's it's amazing to watch. I mean, it's so fast. Comedy's coming at you thick and fast. Somebody will walk out of a door on this side of the screen, someone will come in on this side, gag, 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 gag. gag. And it works as a film. It works very well as a film. Um, what else have we got? La Cajol Fall, and it's, uh, it's remake, uh, modern remake, The Birdcage, with uh, Robin Williams. A lot of people immediately think that an American remake of a, of a European film is going to be going to be bad. Uh, they're just different. There's there's space for for both of them. The Birdcage is uh, is a very good film. Le Cage au is probably my favourite. Nothing's going to replace it in my affections, but you can't knock the Birdcage. You know everything because you're a man, and I know nothing because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. <laughs> and Pleasantville. One of my favourite films on Sky Comedy is this month, actually. Gary Ross comedy film, two modern-day teenagers transported into the, uh, into the world of a black-and-white 1950s American TV show, and uh, they shake things up a bit with a little bit of sauciness. They take, uh, take this very naive world all the way from the, from the apple to the chapel, as they say. What the hell is going on? Can't talk like that here. You're in, uh, well, you know. We're in Pleasantville? A dream come true, huh? And that's a good film to look at. It's beautiful. In fact, uh, at some point in the future, I it's going to be coming up on Sky Movies HD as well. So once you've seen it the first time and got over all the comedy, you just want to sit back and bask in the beautiful images and keep a look out for it on HD. You say HD, I say HD. Let's call the whole thing off. Now it's decision time. Mr Connolly here will choose his three funniest scenes from this month's schedules. In third place... Where Robin Williams is demonstrating the styles of the different choreographers in the birdcage, he does a bit of Twyla, a bit of Fosse, a bit Madonna. The only thing missing really is Big Fish, Little Fish, Cardboard Box. <laughs> you do Fosse, Fosse, Fosse. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Or Twyla, Twyla, Twyla. Or Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd. Or Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. In second place. <laughs> The scene in Fort Year Old Virgin, where it all originally came from, the scene where they're playing cards and he's trying to pretend not to be a virgin. There's a few good gags about bags of sand. I dated this girl for a while and she was really a nasty freak. Any time of day, she was like, yeah, let's go. I'm so nasty. She'd be like, oh, me so horny, me love you long time. So. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, answer this question. Are you a virgin? <laughs> Are you a virgin? Yeah, yeah, not, not since I was 10. It all makes sense! You're a virgin! I am... Shut up! How does that happen? And the winner... By far and away, the best bit is uh, in Hot Fuzz, where Paddy Considine's having a beer and he gets a bit on his tash. Got a moustache. I know. 